It's hard to watch and not up to current animal welfare standards, but this 30-year-old still footage provides an insight into any market for feral pigs. We have the products of wild pigs, and you will soon take advantage of their abilities to exploit the places where they live. They are increasing in our country, becoming worse than good. Gentle and pricey for pigs, tell me about the lagoon and whatever the war is out there. If landowners are on the front lines of encroachment management, feral pigs are the enemy. From the hot north of Cape York in Queensland to the cold southern alpine regions where they live around hoof streams, feral pigs are making their mark. They often originate from escaped farm animals and now live on about 45% of the continent. They endanger the agricultural industry with more than $100 million in increased poaching and crop loss. The heaviest feral pigs we caught this year weighed 435 pounds. It is not uncommon to see pigs weighing over 310 pounds. They will eat almost anything. This terrifying picture shows a Cape York pig with a belly full of baby turtles, which pose a danger to endangered species such as turtles, freshwater crocodiles, frogs, snakes, lizards, freshwater turtles, and more. Let's look at the sugarcane farm. The empty plots of land are where pigs have invaded and destroyed sugarcane crops. We found approximately 3,000 hectares of sugarcane damage in Queensland. You'd figure out somewhere between $4 million and $5 million just in sugarcane, and that's just the cane that was lost. We have not calculated the additional cost of chemicals to treat weeds growing through the sugarcane layer and the environmental and water quality issues associated with it. Sugarcane growers. Mario hates what they do to their cane but the damage to the environment is even worse. You can see that they even defecate in the water. You can see that, that the water color next to the wall is so dense. Real skin has no sclans aided on hasas a few sweat glands in the muzzle. But also, they have to bathe twice a day when the weather is hot, and they really affect waterways, wetlands, and all that other stuff. In the highlands of New South Wales and Victoria, pigs follow the currents disturbing their surroundings. With pigs, they often go crazy and destroy crops. However, the most frightening thing about wild pigs is their ability to transmit diseases to native livestock and humans. We are testing leptospirosis and brucellosis, both of which can spread to livestock and people.
Darren Marshall is a wildlife control specialist whose job it is to understand the habits and threats that pose danger. Around 25% of pigs in this area have leptospirosis, and only about 4% have brucellosis. Both of these diseases are naturally uncomfortable. More worrisome, however, is their ability to spread long nail disease and African swine fever. The spread of African swine fever is happening rapidly around the world and poses a great threat to Australia. It is estimated to lose about $200,000 per year to pigs. We have tried many methods, such as hunting. We have used helicopters, shooting, and traps, but we have not been able to reduce crop damage. We figured we've lost about $120,000 in that area alone in the last 10 years. An $80,000 fence has been installed and no damage has occurred inside. And no damage has occurred inside. This proves that the investment in the fence is right. Fences and traps, followed by hunting, are the most effective control methods. but data collection is also important. This collar will receive GPS points every half hour, then every six hours it will transmit a satellite and send the data to us. The interesting thing is that the pigs don't move as far as I thought. They usually search in streams and growing areas. These important points need to be clearly identified in the landscape because they are where we need to catch the pigs. Giving value to each pig is often asked of struggling rural people. But data from the U.S. state of Tennessee shows that the pig population is growing rapidly. Over 50 years, here's how the pig population spread. You can see that after that, they gave bonuses. This is the result after 10 years of giving bonuses. As you are paying a dollar for a pest, they will quickly move to other areas so people can profit. We hope this video was useful. If you want to see any other animals, please comment down below in the comment section. Now let's watch the next video together. According to statistics by the end of 2022 in Australia, there are about 20,000 cattle on cattle farms and about 14,500 mixed beef and sheep farms. The most popular breeds of cattle raised in Australia can be mentioned as Brahmin, Hereford Angus, or Murray Gray cattle are currently the majority of cattle ranchers in Australia concentrated in states such as Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, and Western Australia. The average area of a cattle farm in this country is about 32,000 acres. Herds grew slowly during the early years of settlement in the 1800s. However, Australian farmers took advantage of the land and moved their herds to grazing areas further inland, thereby increasing herd numbers in recent years. 
The number of calves born in Australia has ranged between 9.5 and 9.8 million a year, and 45% of them are born in Queensland. Most calves will live with their mothers on the farm for about three months before weaning. Cows do not have the required amount of milk. Calves will be separated from their mothers earlier, and they will be fed with milk provided by the breeder. Currently, the average herd size in South Australia is around 430 heads, and in the north the average herd size is about 1,600 heads. After about four months, the calves will be regularly released into the pasture. Every day, the adult will go with the herd to the large grasslands and to be able to move the herd stably, the herdsmen will need the help of herding dogs. For a herd of about 500 animals, they can travel about 15 miles a day to reach new pastures. Currently, the total area of land used for the grazing in Australia is approximately 831 million acres, including areas used for grazing, goats, and sheep. After a long journey, the herd will need to be fed before moving on to new pasture, at which point the hay and straw will be used to refuel for the next journey. The length of time a herd will eat on one pasture before moving on to another will depend on a number of fundamental factors, such as the number of cattle in the herd, the size of the pasture, and this is the resilience of a Queensland pasture. Every late afternoon, hundreds of cattle will gather on this small lake area to drink water. On average, an adult cattle needs to drink about 10 to 15 gallons of water per day. There are currently around 11,000 cattle farms in Queensland, with around 10.7 million heads. The head of an annual beef production in the state of about 1.3 million tons in Australia Moving herds from a few dozen to a few hundred animals, always needing the help of herding dogs. Herding dogs and sheep dogs are very intelligent and loyal animals. An estimated 273,000 dogs are currently employed on animal farms in Australia and around 65% of them are employed on livestock farms. Running a fully-fledged herd and dog business is something not all livestock owners can do. As a result, many ranchers pre-train dogs to work on their farms. In Australia, there are about 24.7 million heads, and this number includes both dairy and beef cattle. Outside Queensland, New South Wales is also one of the states with the largest cattle herds in the country, with 4.4 million heads. Behind these two states is Victoria, with 3.6 million head. Here's what's going on inside a beef factory in Australia. About 8.3 million cows are processed each year.
and the annual beef production of the country ranges from 2.3 to 2.7 million tons. Currently, up to 70% of beef production in Australia is exported to other countries, and the remaining 30% is consumed domestically. The majority of cattle in Australia are raised by grazing, so the quality of Australian beef is always appreciated by consumers around the world.